So here we are about mid-build on this 87 big wheel 350 and she's coming along real nice. Everything's going together. This thing's got a lot more parts than I anticipated. Um, we got all the piece parts coming along. Got tires, wheels. I kind of caught those in the last section of the video and uh, dove into the engine today because it basically needed to be going through because it looked like this. So I took her, took her down 100%, got everything situated. We're gonna change all the seals, all the gaskets, any wear and tear items, um, all the external bolts, rebuild the starter, new clutch, fresh bore and piston. I got the cases somewhat cleaned up, ready for paint. I got a, a vapor hole in these. When I do, when I'm going to black paint them, it really doesn't matter to get every speck of it off. If I'm going bare aluminum, obviously I get every speck off. But the surface is smooth, so we kind of stick with what works. I mean, the, the, by the time you add the epoxy and the paint, this will be perfect finish for it. So she's coming along nice. Uh, stay tuned, and I'm going to continue videoing and. I'm going to do this probably part one, and uh, part two is going to be coming together soon. Thank you. What's up guys, Travis at DNA. Here we are, day one of reassembly for this big wheel 350. These things have a ton of parts. Everybody thinks trikes are hard and blah, 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 but the swing arm setup with this jack shaft is a little more intimidating than it looks. Luckily, my customer sourced a ton of new parts for us. So we got a lot of good stuff here. A lot of new stuff and a lot of refinished stuff so there's all the zinc that i gotta figure out what goes where and exhaust that's redone and here we go